Hello again, everybody. I'm really looking forward to sharing another part of the force of faith with you today. I must just tell you that even while I've been ministering these sections to you out of my, my Sunday message, I've been energized and just in it really, my spirit has been energized and charged for faith, for my own faith to continue. So I'm speaking to you about faith that must continue. And I shared with you yesterday about Peter. He was in faith and then he didn't continue in faith. He got out of faith by considering the circumstances. So when Jesus said to Peter, oh, you of little faith, he he wasn't saying you had no faith. He was saying this, you of little faith, little is the Greek word oligos, O-L-I-G-O-S, which means a while, small in duration and small in extent, which means you didn't carry on that strong. You had great faith. Like the message Bible said, Peter jumped out of the boat and he walked on the water. I'm telling you, if you have no faith and you jump out of a boat to try to walk on the water, you're gonna sink, you'll jump right into the water. But he jumped out of the boat at Jesus' word, it's calling him, and he walked, he began to walk on the water to Jesus, but then he considered. So he was in faith, suddenly bold, it's message Bible says, Peter suddenly bold, said Jesus, bid me to come, you know. So it says here, little faith, is a small while, a short while, small in degree and duration and extent. So this is how your faith and my faith is activated at Jesus' words, the words that he brings us, the prophetic word he brings us, the words, the promises that we can find for ourselves in the word of God. Open door, marvels, wonders. He speaks his word of promise and by that he's saying, come, come into it all. So we, he's saying, come, step out of your comfort of your space in the boat. Come walk on the water to me and with me. And that word that Jesus spoke activated Peter's faith and Peter's faith had the power in it to sustain Peter to walk all the way to Jesus. So I want us to look at a very powerful principle here. Luke 18, with regard to what I'm speaking about, continuing in your faith is very powerful. Luke 18 from verse 1 to 8, to 8 in the Amplified Bible. Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to turn coward. Remember that prayer is also declare. So in your declaring, that's also prayer. Declaring is also praying. So Jesus told them the parable to the effect that they ought always to be saying, praying, declaring, decreeing, and not to turn coward and faint and lose heart and give up. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither reverenced and feared God nor respected or considered man, and there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him. Can you see? Kept coming, kept coming to him and saying, protect and defend and give me justice against my adversary. Well, in, Jesus says in one place, your adversary, the devil, or was it Apostle Paul? Your adversary, the devil, he's our adversary. Give me justice against my adversary. And for a time he would not. But later he said to himself, though I have neither reverence or fear for God, nor respect or consideration for man, yet because this widow continues, <laughs> yet because this widow continues to bother me, I will defend and protect and avenge her, lest she give me intolerable annoyance and wear me out by her continual, her continual coming. Or at the last, she come and rail on me, R-A-I-L on me, or assault me or strangle me. That's the Amplified. And then the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. Will not our just God defend and protect and avenge his elect, his chosen ones who cry or who declare or who are releasing the force of faith out of their spirit being day and night, Will he defer them and delay help on their behalf? You see, this is not God 
delaying help on our behalf to see how long you can actually hold out for. You are releasing the power out of your spirit being to attract everything that God has promised into your world, to change everything that needs changing and rearranging. So it says here, and then God works with you when you're doing that. Him and his angels work with you. And so it says here, will you defer them? Will you delay help on their behalf? I tell you, he will defend and protect and avenge them speedily. However, when the Son of Man comes, comes with what? To defend and protect and avenge you speedily because of your declaring day and night. When he comes, will he find persistence in your faith in the earth? So this is what Jesus says. Don't faint. Don't lose heart. Don't give up. Don't cut your faith cycle short. So I want to go to Luke 11. This is also, this keeping on. This is what the Lord was showing me when he was giving me this revelation. You've got to keep on keeping on because I'll get there. Luke 11, 5 to 10, Amplified Bible. Jesus said to them, which of you has a friend who has a friend will go to him at midnight and will say to him, friend, lend me three loaves of bread for a friend of mine who is on a journey has just come and I have nothing to put before him. And he from within will answer, do not disturb me. The door is now closed. And we know we have an open door. And my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and supply you with anything. I tell you, although he will not get up and supply him with anything because he is his friend, yet because of his shameless persistence and insistence, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. So I say to you, this is Jesus speaking, in light of this, I say to you, ask and keep on asking and it shall be given you. Seek, keep on seeking and you shall find. Knock and keep on knocking and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asks and keeps on asking will receive. And he who seeks and keeps on seeking finds and to him who knocks and keeps on knocking the door shall be opened now why is this it's not a scenario of can you see how much i'm knocking lord come now lord it's been a lot not now no 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 it's nothing like that it's in the keeping on that it's all going on it's when the creation and the ordering, the parts and the elements are moving and constellation is happening in your orbit, in, the, in, in your world. It's like my faith engine. I keep it running so it can keep moving so that I can keep going. The Holy Spirit and his angels are hovering over everything, orchestrating on my behalf because my faith is a powerful force. And he's orchestrating on my behalf and what I'm striking for. In due season, we will reap if we don't faint and give up. So that's why I press. I press for specified things because while I'm pressing, it's in my pressing, it's in my knocking, keep on knocking, asking, seeking, keeping on seeking that the creating is happening. Faith activated and faith in use always presses and presses and then produces and it reaches its full expression. So I want to say this to you again. It's in the keeping on that it's all going on. There's a creation period. There's a beginning and there's an end. And faith is powerful because its end comes. In the Passion Translation, 1 Peter 1, 5 to 9, but I'm just going to read the last bit of it. For you are reaping the harvest of your faith, the full salvation promised you. The Amplified Bible says, without having seen him, you love him. Though you do not even now see him, you believe in him and exult and thrill with inexpressible glorious joy. At the same time, you receive the result, the outcome and the consummation of your faith. And that is why faith is powerful. It's because there's a result, there's an outcome and there's a consummation of it. I receive the end of my faith. And what is the end of my faith? successfully crossing the threshold of the new wide open door 
opened for me by Jesus. My faith speaks. It continues to speak. I create. The end of my faith is supernatural increase. My faith is a force released. The end of my faith is great change in all my struck areas. The end of my faith is marvels, me experiencing marvels and wonders. My faith continues. I keep on. My faith is rearranging parts and elements. The end of my faith is extraordinary manifestations of the greatness of my God for me in all of my faith projects, in all of my conditioning, in all of my celebrating. The end of my faith is great change in me where his kingdom is. The, the, the end of my faith is insight coming to me like a stream continually from the mighty person of the Holy Spirit spirit glory to God and that's it that's it I know that you received some powerful nuggets here if I were you I would because I've got my own notes here and I go over it almost every day I would go over the this force of faith teaching until it, you become so riveted and it becomes so a part of you that you are releasing the force of faith out of you continually that you'll never stop and interrupt your own faith again by considering circumstances that you'll grow strong in faith like Abraham as you continue to declare and you continue to declare, declare everything in victory and decree and continue to build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost and you continue to praise like Abraham. He grew strong in faith as he gave praise and glory to God. And God bless you in your, in your meditation of, this, of these midday moments in Jesus' name. Love you all. Bye.